Hi everyone, my name is Nikita and I'm customer success manager here at Oboard and today I wanted to share with you a quick start guide for plugin administrators. It will include app installation, creating intervals, occur levels, groups, inviting users and assigning roles to them. We will also learn how to give access to the app for your Jira groups and as a conclusion a guide on how to install the Confluence app both for cloud and data center. So let's get started. So first of all what will you need to do is go to your Jira, select apps, explore more apps and there in the search bar show um, search for the OKR OK board, click try it for free, install the app and once it's ready you can go inside the app. So what's going to be the next step? Uh, by default, all Jira administrators uh, become our plugin administrators. So what does it mean? That It means that like people with such a role will have access to everything inside the app, meaning can create anything, can delete anything, can invite everyone else inside the app, assign roles to them, like literally everything. If you feel like there are other people that are currently not Jira administrators, but you still want them to have plugin administrator role inside the plugin, you can do it from the settings. So to do it, go inside settings, click users and admins, administrators, here click administrator and search for your users. Once you select a user, click add and that's it. This new user will have all the rights. What's next? Uh, next we will talk about intervals. You can find them in the settings, workspaces. You select the workspace and here you will see a separate tab called intervals. So by default we create a few quarter intervals but the list can always be customized depending on your needs. You can add yearly intervals or monthly, or perhaps your company uh, uses fiscal years. It's also possible to set it up. So to do it, you click create interval, you name it, and you select something from the list or completely custom. Again, it can be any date you want it to be. Once it's created, you can go back to your objective list and here from the list you will see all your currently active intervals. Next, uh, next is OKR levels. You can go to settings, click OKR levels and here you'll see the list. We also create a few of them by default. Uh, to name them it would be company, the group and personal. Again, existing ones can be customized as you can see here on my screen. You can edit existing ones or you create something new from scratch. So now that you've set up intervals and occur levels, we can go and invite people to the app. First, we will need to start from Jira Global Permissions and select which Jira groups will actually have access to the app. So to do it, you will need to click on Jira settings, click system, and in the system, you will see under the security section, global permissions tab. And here you will see a part where it says access to onboard plugin and the list of Jira groups that already have access to it can be modified. You can delete something from here if you don't want it to have access or you can add new groups here. So on the bottom of the page, you will see grant permissions, select a board plugin and select your Jira group. Once it's done, click add. And that's it. From now on, these people will see our app from the apps tab in your Jira. So now we gave access. What next? How do they appear inside the app? Uh, basically, 
as already mentioned, these users will see the app from the apps menu. I can go ahead and access it. By default, they will have a role of a user and access to all public workspaces. What does a user role mean and how many roles do we have? So for it, let's go to users and admins, click add a user, for example, and see the full list of roles. So the default role for everyone that have access is a user. A user can create OKRs, can delete his own OKRs, a uh, user can edit all the OKRs assigned to him, and that's it. User no delete, the same as the user, but without the delete option. The reader can only read the information, no changes can be made by this user at all. The group leader can edit anything that belongs to user's group. And workspace admin can edit anything present inside the particular workspace. So, and plugin admin, as I already mentioned, everything inside the app can be added, deleted, or changed. So let's start adding some users. So you can go to workspaces and add them from there. You will see a user stop here. You click add the user, you select the user, you select group and you click add. Or you can use this tab, users and admins and do the, the exact same here. Select the user, workspace, group and his role. It's also possible to add users in bulk. Uh, for this, you will need to select your Jira group and automatically all users in this Jira group will be added inside the app to the selected group, meaning that it will be synced all the time and all new users in your Jira group will be automatically synced with your plugin group. About groups. Again, you can go to your workspace settings and near the user tab, you will also see group tab. You hit the plus, create group, give the name. That's it. Group created. You will see a plus sign here. Add the user, select users and add them to this group. It is also possible to do it in bulk. Same way as I just explained in the users and admins tab. You select the Jira group, you think it, click import users, and all these users are already in the app. That's it, pretty simple. Next, we already have users, we created groups for them, they already started collaborating, adding some OKRs. What can we do to also extend the usability to your other users in Confluence. So for this, we have a separate app that will allow you to add three different macroses. The macroses will be the alignment view with all the objectives in the table, the homepage, where you can track your personal and your team's progress, and performance dashboard, where can be viewed all groups present in a particular workspace. So how do we set up the app? Mm, there are two different ways for cloud and for data center or server. Let's start with cloud. What do we need to do? You simply go to your confluence, you go to apps, again, same way, you click find new apps, search for all board, Click install and once the app installed, you can click here on get started and it will redirect you to this page. So for this step, it said that we will, we will need to create an API token. So let's go back to the app, click settings and here you will see a tab called API token. You click create token, name it for example Confluence click create, 
copy the token, go back to contents, here you paste it, click save, and that's it. The link is created and now you can start adding macroses. So for it, you will need to go to your space, create a new page or edit existing one. You can see here that they already added a few different macroses here. So to add a new one, you click the plus sign, search here for a board, and you will see three different filter, uh, three different macroses. The first one filter is the alignment view I just that I just mentioned, second one home screen, and the last one dashboard is performance dashboard. You click, for example, on filters, you can set up the view, which workspace will be shown, which interval will be shown, and additional filters like owners, groups, or okay, levels, labels, like everything that already available in the main app. You click insert, It's already here. If you don't need to change anything else, you click publish and that's it. It can now be viewed by anyone of your content's users, if the page is not private, of course. It's interactable. We can click here, for example, to expand and see all the objectives. Uh, or it can be also clicked and redirected to the main app if you want to change anything or a more deep dive view on a particular objective. From the compliance app, it's not possible to change anything. It's just for review. So what's different about uh, data center and server? Mm, we will not use uh, API token in this case, but create an application link. This is how it's going to look like. So for example, let's delete existing one. Yeah, confirm. Now, you see here, so how to first, yeah, how to find this page. You go to Confluence, General Configuration, scroll down, and here you'll see a tab Application Links. You click it, yep, confirm, cool. Now we see this page. So here you'll see a line there the, where you will need to paste your Jira instance URL and hit create and create a new link. So for example, this is our server. We copy the URL, we go back and hit create a new link. Click continue, I'm administrator, that's correct. Okay. Confirm, continue. And that's it. The link is ready. The process of adding the macros is the same as with uh, the cloud. Just go to a space, select a page, and you can add it, add it there. Pretty simple. And that's it, I guess. Thank you very much for listening and have a great one.